Hello class, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the top events in theater history through Shakespeare's death. So grab a cookie, sit back, and enjoy this presentation. Just a little disclaimer, I will be using a cheat sheet that I typed up for this presentation to help keep me on track. So if you see me looking down reading from it, that's what's going on. The first event in theater history that I'm gonna touch base on is the birth of William Shakespeare. This was said to be on April 23rd, 1564. However, we don't know the exact date. And during this time, the calendar was much different than on our modern day calendar. So in modern times, he would have been born on May 3rd. But even though this date is mainly speculation, we believe this to be true because he was baptized three days later on April 16th, 1564. The second event in theater that I feel is important during this time is the Commedia dell'arte. It originated in Italy in the 1560s and it was an actor-centered type of theater. The plays originated from scenarios called lazy, which are essentially stock jokes <laughs> or gags that are improv performances. Now, I know we went over these in class, but here's a little clip just to refresh your memory. I want the pie! I want the pie! I want the pie! Oh, buongiorno! Buongiorno a tutti! Welcome! And come with us as I, Pantaloni, try to win the heart of the beautiful belle donna Colombina with my greatest creation, La, La Massima, Massima Torta, Torta del, del Mondo, the world's greatest pie. We hope to see you there soon. Hey, Pantaloni, what's that over there? Oh. <laughs> hey! Luciana oh, Bush, hey. do you do the Fandango? <laughs> no! No, no, I scared him. Now the third big event that I feel was important took place in the year of 1576. This was when James Burbage built the very first London theater. It was built at Finsbury Fields and ironically was named the theater. <laughs> very fitting, right? <laughs> the fourth event that took place that I feel is very important was in 1587 when the Rose Theater was built. It was the first of several theaters to be built in Southwark near the shore of the river known as Thames. The area was known for leisure attractions such as brothels, gaming dens, and bear bull baitings. Fun. The fifth event in theater history that I find to be extremely important was that theater in the United States started in 1590. It started off as just a ritual performance by the Native Americans, and upon the arrival of the first white Spanish settlers, medieval European Christian morality plays began. The sixth biggest event that happened was the outbreak of the Black Death, also known as the Bubonic Plague. This was very significant because it ended up shutting theaters down for quite some years. The plague started around 1593 and due to officials being worried that theaters would be hotbeds of infections, most of the theaters were shut down until 1608 when the plague finally died out. My seventh event that I felt was very fascinating to add to this presentation was the fact that most of Shakespeare's plays were created from plots of stories and well-known plays throughout history. Shakespeare's plays also referred to love over 2,000 times and only referred to hate 183 times. The eighth event in theater history that I feel is significant happened in 1613 when the Globe Theater burnt down. Due to a prop cannon being used during the performance of Henry VIII, the canyon ignited the roof 
therefore setting the whole building on fire. Luckily, no one was hurt, but within two hours, the whole entire building was destroyed. Wow. The ninth event that I felt is important took place in 1614 when Shakespeare and his company rebuilt the Globe Theater. So this was rebuilt after it had burnt down to the ground and it survived until 1642 when theater became outlawed. Not only that, but two years later, it was demolished by the Puritans. And that leads us to my 10th and final event in theater history. This event was none other than the death of William Shakespeare himself, which took place on April 23rd, 1616. One of the mysteries of his death was the fact that in his testament, the only thing he left to his wife was the second best bed. Another huge mystery of his death is that we don't know for sure how he died. It's said that he was sick before his actual death, but it is speculated that he may have either died from syphilis or possibly even murdered. The grave where the famous playwright is buried states, good friend, for Jesus' sake forbear to dig the dust and closed hair. Blessed be the man that spares these stones and cursed be he that moves my bones. Overall, there's so many mysteries still surrounding William Shakespeare that we may never get the answers to. It was definitely some interesting times during the 16th and 17th century. Even though so much still remains a mystery, one thing we know for certain is that William Shakespeare was a great playwright who helped shape our modern theater for what it is today. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And remember, to be or not to be, that is the question. <laughs> Take care, everyone.